Hey yeah, folks, Quill18 here and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Going Medieval! We are still in the very early phase of the game, still figuring out. The game has hit early access at this point, so uh, I'm, I'm counting on all of you soon to help figure things out about how some of these things work. But for now, I'm going to have to muddle through. we got enemies coming in about 12 hours, and we still have walls to put up. We still don't know, or at least I don't know at the point that I'm recording this, uh, exactly how the defenses will work to be optimized. We'll see how that goes. Um... We've got three people who are armed. Actually, Jonathan should be able. I think we've got an extra range weapon, in fact. Well, he's set to all weapons, so theoretically he'll pick one up when he's got a moment. Because I think we had an extra bow kicking around the ground. Yeah, right over there. So I suspect when Jonathan is up, he'll go and grab that. Isabella, doing some construction. Picking up some material. Night Owl, this. What is this thing? Oh, dainty. Right. Quite cool. I like the names of the traits in this game. Alright, Goose having a little entertainment. I mean, they gotta do that so they don't break. Now, I'm wondering if I should max out the construction priority for a little bit. You know, especially we don't really need research right this second, you know? I think that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring them all up to two well, whether it's a two or one will make a difference because of its position over here. Presumably Hammond will figure will finish one cycle of this. I don't think I, I don't know if they can force him. I guess I can draft and undraft him. There you go. He'll reset his jobs. And we'll see about uh, getting our walls up as quickly as possible. We have to do a little bit more tree cutting, depending on... Uh, yeah, actually, I think all of our logs have gone away, so I suspect we're out of that now. So, we'll go ahead and uh, be more terrible humans and deforest the land, but... Oh, okay, no, we have plenty of logs kicking around. Uh, they're just not in a stockpile, so they're not accruing, because this is just sticks. Okay. I mean, they'll go and cut down those trees. I, I could... Eh, maybe I'll cancel some of these designations. I'll leave a few up. Because I'm sure we're going to need more wood, you know, sooner rather than later. But, mostly we've got enough material on the ground. just hasn't been hauled to our stockpiles yet. Okay. Do I want to increase the speed? I guess so. Jonathan still hasn't armed himself, though. You need Marksman 10. Hold on a sec. That's quite interesting. Um, Marksman. Can you just tab between people? The answer is yes. Okay, that's why no one equipped the, uh, the longbow. They equipped the shortbow because it was a lower requirement. Oh, ho, ho. Now, um, wooden weaponry is set up. I think we needed a... Did I ever set up the production centers for this? This is our research. That's our butchery. Oh yeah, right over here. Products. So I can make more short bows. I can also make dismantle item for wood. Make wooden spear. It looks bad because it looks like it's red, but I think that's just the background of these things. We need 20 wood for this. Anyway, we'll produce one. We'll produce a spear as well. Um... So what this probably means, who's good at... I assume this is carpentry? Carpentry job. Um, 21. Okay, I'm going to bring Hammond's Construct down. Getting resources. I will recruit and unrecruit you, and theoretically you are... Okay, you're going to go have a drink. I mean, sure, okay. I can't blame you for that. Drop down these trees. Oh, I put down these. Assuming we like this is making sense, I can put one of these every seven. So there's a six tile gap between each one of these. And theoretically, I can build these overlays everywhere. Which seems like that might be pretty useful for defense. Assuming that works out. Well, we and again, we don't know where the attack's gonna come from, so it might not we might not have any defenses that are up in an appropriate direction right now. Alright, you're getting resources. Come on, move faster, buddy. Okay, so we can walk through these. Although we probably, what we should use, actually, or get, is a door on this side of things. Um, hang on, did it build above? No, I think it is being built here. Okay. Alright, craft, craft, craft. And the short bow should be fine. In fact, I probably prefer the short bow to another ranged, or to another melee tool. Because, I mean, in most situations, having strong range power is pretty effective. And I'm still looking forward to building a nice, fancy house. Could have just expanded this one, but it felt too narrow to, like, expand more things with it. You are currently unhappy. Why so unhappy, buddy? Chained up. Mm 
the hell? Lacking religious activity. Now there's a place apparently we can find out. Religious alignment. Okay, oh, from left to right. So brethren and um, restitutionists are opposite each other. That's interesting. So we built both shrines. I wonder, okay, I hadn't realized that's how that worked. I wonder... So we've got one who's a little bit more brethren-y. And everyone else is pretty hardcore restitution. All right, what's this perk here? Churl. Mood target, mood change speed. Eh, all right. Cranky ass punk. Okay, walls are walling. Enjoying entertainment, sleeping, resource construction, construction. That's all fine. And yeah, Isabella is sort of on a opposite schedule. Well, not sort of, is. Hammond, we really need you to finish this stuff. There you go. Prioritize production, buddy. I mean, just because we're a little bit tight on time. Finish the bow, and then you can go and do some entertainment. Still have no idea if uh, this farming is going to be enough here. When I place the growing zones... So growing turn 17 days, maximum yield in 5 days? What does this mean? So does it take 17 days to grow, or does it take 5 days to grow? Number of harvest one, and then you gotta replant it. What does that mean? Anything in, uh, sorry, this book over here? Is it under flora and flana? Flana. Ah! Cabbages. No, it's just the same information here. Hmm. I don't know! Alright, while it's going up. Bow got complete. Jonathan is now equipped with the bow. As far as I can tell, we don't need arrows. Um, I'll still make the extra spear. Although, I think um, I'm going to go ahead and tell Hammond to go prioritize construction again. Help us get our walls up. Although, it looks like they should hopefully be done in time. It's going to be kind of tight, actually. Let me reset you there, Hammond. Make sure you're working on construction. I mean, if it's not fully enclosed, at least it probably means we can predict where the enemy is coming from. So it's not like it's the end of the world. Oh, also, I'd seen some people make a, a, a comment that maybe, because um, food rots... Um, well, things rot if they're not on floor. And then food in addition to that rots with bad temperature. I'm like, we don't have refrigeration. Someone wondered if we couldn't build a cellar underground. We should look into that. We have a mine tool. I don't know if there's another tool to, like, sort of dig down. But we'll experiment with that. You know, same thing over here. Like, can I can I punch into the wall over here? I don't know. Maybe we can dig down on the roof on top of it. I mean, the temperature is just listed here. I don't... Oh, it does fluctuate a little bit. A little lower here than up over here. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It is a little cooler inside the house. Or it was cooler... Yeah, 17 degrees over here. Because the, the walls and things are uh, natural insulators. Alright, and these are coming. Any minute now. Wall's not quite finished, but close. Now, is there like a bulk draft? Okay, Violent Extortionists. The zealots demanded that you relinquish Jonathan immediately, to be burned at the stake or possibly flayed alive for their manifold sins. God's will should be done. They were authorized to kill. The other's defiant settlers refused to bow to the assailant's demands, so about three-third coming pillagers. Settlers get a positive mood, or we can surrender him. We're going to try to defend it. Stood the ground, refusing to give in to the demands. I like that this is part of the story. Another folk took up arms, ready to make a battle. So, oh, there we go. All right. To control your settlers directly, draft them by selecting them, clicking the draft action on the selection panel. Tip, you can select multiple settlers and then draft them. Uh-huh. Use the settler panel on the left to quickly select a single settler or shift click to select multiple. Is there a hotkey to select everyone? Because that would be quite nice. Drafted settler will go anywhere you tell them to go and will attack who you tell them to attack. Right click to order them. During combat, an archer will shoot enemy within their range while a melee settler will wait until the enemy comes close or attacks them. Place archers on higher ground in order to then get a buff in precision range and critical hit chance. Okay, we're going to pause. So they're coming from the east. We do have some high ground that we can play with, potentially. No, oh, those are the flimsy shackles that got banned. Um, is there keyboard configuration?
at a quick glance, I didn't see any select all button. That's okay. Can you do a box select over here? No, that's too bad. I mean, I can control click over here. Um, is there, if I double click, no, it does that. Hmm. Because it would be convenient for these situations. Uh, right click and I'm gonna attack, order, attack, yeah. But, I've selected tall grass. Um, there it is. So they've all been drafted. Right click move, da 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 da. Come over here. Put Jonathan. Put you here and Hammond. Actually, I think it's still got everyone selected. I won't come here. There you go. Hammond. Jonathan. We'll get the high ground. We don't know how people block each other's face. It is nice that you can click here and see. We get some names on these folks. What are we looking at here? Hankin. Okay, no info on them. I think they're alternating between different weapons. I think one of them had a ranged one for a bit. They might be preparing for a bit before they attack. I mean, we could move out as well to engage them. Can I tell the range? Okay, that far. I can take a few shots at them and then run back. Oh, there we go. I started their attack. Well, that answers that question. All right. Let's try this again. Hammond. Jonathan. Go, go, go. All right. Here they come. Uh, you're actually in this instead of behind it. Seems a little odd. Hopefully we can get them to just trigger some of these traps. Where are you going? Where are you passing around to? Okay, there we go. Coming straight for us! Hopefully Jonathan doesn't kill Hammond by shooting him in the back of the head. Alright, the shooting is beginning. So what is that symbol? Are you being targeted? Moving forward to engage. I'm hoping there's no friendly fire or anything to worry about like that. Isabella's taking a little bit of damage. I could probably get my people to focus fire. So say finish them off, I guess. Let's focus. Everyone focus on Nicholas. Isabella might run away. Um, what's her? Hit points, targeted by. I don't know if there's the same kind of like specific injuries in this game as in Rimworld or Dwarf Fortress. Oh, victory! Uh, the beleaguered settlers came under assault in the spring of 1352. Their ordeal continued for two hours, 31 minutes. Mercifully, all settlers survived the raid. Two sworn enemies died during the fight. Isabella Newberry was the bravest of the settlers, dealing the most blows to the foe, but she also took the most damage, thinking only the defending nether in the hour of need. I like the flavor. Now, there's still someone here. Presumably, they're trying to run away, but we'll go for the kill. Oh, no, they're just flat out escaping. No killing. No, no actual committing of war crimes, you guys. People who surrender, we don't butcher. I know. It's a terrible disappointment, isn't it? Let's allow everything that was on the ground. We've got some dead bodies now. Um, where is the... Historical records? History? Yeah, there we go. New life, new settler, raid. I love the, the, the story that generates over here. That's quite cool. Um, hopefully you'll get some treatments there, Isabella. Oh, some people are fleeing. I guess because you can still see the enemies doing it in flea mode. Come inside. Yeah, you can probably drop out of that and you'll go back to normal behavior. Still says raid, but yeah, no, they're running away. Food stock reserves are low. That is true. We have some cooked meals. We don't have any raw food. We do have plenty of things to hunt, however. Um, speaking of... Okay, I'm going to bring the construction back down to a three over here. I think I want to keep powering through the research a fair bit. 
Jonathan will hunt if we give a tasks, and that might be okay. There's still some construction going on, but yeah, let's do a bit of hunting. We'll hunt some wabbits. <laughs> There's a deer over there too, but let's pace ourselves. I do like the music in this game. All right, this defensive structure seemed to work. I guess putting people behind this for um, sorting would be good too. We did get some weapons dropped over here. Oh, we're getting our first cabbage harvest. Well, there we go. All right, then we're gonna be fine for food. Although, you know what? A little bit of meat, it's not too bad. Looks like we're out of wood right now. These are probably just sticks left over. But at some point, someone will chop down the trees and then we can finish our wall here. I don't think I'm gonna tweak the priorities to chop down the trees any faster. I think we're currently okay. The growing and harvesting is always gonna be very important to finish up. There we go, Hunter's on his way, although these guys are all just running. But they might just be pinned into the corner now. All right, some sleep there, that's good. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's bring the speed up. Isabella is still somewhat hurt, but I guess not such a problem that convalescing is a thing. Maybe because there's no specific injury, just general hit point loss. She's been unlocked the first week. Hooray! Level 11 botany. She's been unlocked. Green thumb 3, I guess. Must have to do with the amount of stuff planted. So we did plant some stuff, so we probably progressed through it, some of it. It looks like a maze over here. I guess it depends on the ma and the zoom level, but doesn't it look a little like a like some sort of maze or labyrinth? It's not when you look close, because it's clearly just rows and stuff, but it's because of the um, the blank spaces between the growing plots. All right, having a little fun over there, sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. And yeah, we'll clear all this and make a, a bit of a manor. I still like the open square though. That makes me makes me very happy. There you go. Everyone's up and feeling pretty good about themselves, which is nice to see. More botany. They're going to play some games. I'm not going to queue up any construction now because we don't have the walls finished yet. Um, although, hold on. Unmarked graves. Somewhere outside. Oops. Still want to build a couple of spares. Um... I'm gonna get Hammond to prioritize constructing the grave. Uh, you know, Jonathan, you too. Get it done. And then prioritize burial. Jonathan's hunting. Alright, I'll let you hunt. And prioritize burial. We don't want rotting bodies spreading disease or anything like that. I don't know if that's a mechanic in here, but it feels like the sort of thing that could be. So I'm not going to prioritize um, making the other graves. Don't care about that. Okay, Hammond's doing research. Which, I mean, maybe is important. Obviously, we need to progress through the tech tree. But then, you know, by doing that, he's not doing any other tasks. But I think that's probably okay. And the thing with Hammond, um, other than smithing, he doesn't really have any passion or anything. I suppose if there's a smithing job, do that first. But I don't think we've got, like, I don't think we've unlocked any smithing tech of any kind. So right now he's just going to be researching. Once we get a little smithing station, then things might change a wee bit. But for now we're okay. We can put him back on carpentry, but I'm not going to bother with that. I could always force him, I guess, to accelerate it. So hopefully people are doing butchery. Maybe Jonathan. You're praying. Saw a dead body. Yeah, well, that's the other way you don't have to do. Got ugly apparel. Hopefully we can do something. I'm going to get you to uh, prioritize butchering. We don't have any meat right now. What is Isabella doing here? Oh, well, hungry. Oh, she must be eating a meal. Really? You didn't care at the table? Oh, there you go. Excellent. Sat a little bit weird in a chair. Wow, some people were like, <laughs> when I was making fun of how people were sleeping in the bed, there's so many posts from people saying that they were sleeping, they were lying in a bed exactly in that way while watching the video. And that did make me think about how I lie in bed and like watch YouTube and stuff. I'm like, yeah, you know what? It, it's pretty twisty and things. I can see that. Hopefully Jonathan can get himself a little bit of a, of, of skill doing this. Um, where's the skills one? Over here. Does anyone have 
No. I mean, no everyone's low in marksmen, and no one has passion for it either. Hopefully we can get ourselves a bit more of a dedicated soldier at some point. Yeah, we replaced a wall segment there with a door because people were slow walking through the um, the Merlon over here. Food reserves stockpile. Oh, I know. Well, we're doing a little bit of hunting. And actually, we've got some food. It's not currently stockpiled. It does make me think again, like, hmm, should we do uh, some high priority hauls on things, you know? Get people to bring things into the stockpile. We'll stop it from rotting as quickly. They'll get around to it. We've got too many other important jobs. Doing some butchering over here, which I'm okay with. There we go. Isabella is doing cooking, which is fine too. Don't mind that. Let's do roasted meats. Well, that's quite cool. So even though there's just a singular make meal job over here, and we can edit like what food is used for it. Um, oh, don't use wood or coal maybe for fuel. We've got tons of sticks and nothing else. We might have to re-enable some things later on. But yeah, I don't want to burn wood for our fire. I don't know if it uh, does things in order here or based on distance. Because it would be quite convenient if it picked sticks first. We could put a dedicated stick stockpile. Actually, is there a priority system? So, I mean, hit points, quality. Uh, choose to what to allow. Deconstruct, copy, expand, shrink. I don't know if there's a stockpile priority system. Because I'd say we could put a stick prior, like a high priority stick stockpile right next to the fireplace. And that might have just done it if it's, you know, they grab based on, on position. But for now, we'll just limit it to the only use sticks for the campfire. That's going to be okay. Everyone sleeping except for Isabella, who's doing hauling, which is, again, quite nice. We, we want to get things sorted out. Brought over here. Someone's having some bad thoughts. That's too bad. How many uh, things we have? We have 13. Okay. And they're up to 65 we could spend right now. Picking up some wood from here. Okay, more hauling, which is good. I mean, we've got a backlog, I think, of hauling. Not a problem doing that. It'll update our counts and give us a better idea of what's what. There you go. 61 raw meats, 20 plus meals. I think I've got the, uh, the meal number set to 20 right now. So nothing else is going to get made. That's okay. I suspect we're going to have more than enough raw food. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with letting them finish this backlog of stockpiling stuff. Let's get our stuff organized in here. And at some point, I think we will build this wall up properly. And actually, what might be a good idea is let's see if we can finish this. So I still can't just drag from over here, but I can drag that way. And from here, I can drag to there. It's still a little bit funny, some of its behaviors, but it definitely works. Okay. I don't know if our priority is actually finishing this, you know, versus using wood for something else. Um, but I wanted to see if our little structure kind of worked and made sense. So far, it seems to. So that's good. Um, these are facing the wrong way. Now, it's just a visual thing. No, it's totally unacceptable. It looks too ugly. Cancel. And deconstruct is K. You cannot abide by ugliness. I won't rebuild it now, though, because I knew at least it works. But yeah, we're going to make sure these face an attractive way, just like the others. And then we do occasional support like this. I'm sure there's probably another way to do these walls and things, and we'll be seeing posts about them soon, you know, in the uh, the Steam discussions or guides, or they'll pro there's probably a, a subreddit for this. I'm sure people are going to be posting pictures and guides for this. I'm really looking forward to it. Research available. Oh, we have enough research. Uh, we have enough research for brewing, which does sound pretty, uh, pretty enticing, but I'm wondering about the food preservation. Get a smokehouse going on. Uh, or even, yeah, the bricks and smelting. I feel like we might save for that rather than brewing. At some point, people are going to start being idle. Oh, look at the shadows! Oh my god! From the clouds! Oh, that's lovely. Where are you off to? Hauling over here? There's a little bit to haul over there. Alright. Yeah, there was a few scattered things all over the map. So we're just cleaning up a few random things that were around, you know, ideally before it rots. From being on the floor, so that's going to be good. Little shared meals... I wonder, you having, do you have conversations with people? You're victorious, religious needs are filled, entertainment is filled, eight at the table. Oh my god, instead of eight without a table being a debuff, there's eight with a table having a buff, which is nice. Apparel will be a thing, but at some point, I think getting more clothing production will be nice. We have 82 books? Oh wow, that, uh... How do we have... 
82 Chronicles, but only 19 here. Oh, allocated! I'm wrong! Wait, amount available for unlocking new researches. Available. No, now I am confused. Yeah, look, look, 25 Chronicles, 20 Chronicles, it's cloth. It looks like we have tons of these books. Have they, do they stay permanently? Not available for unlocking your research. Maybe I don't understand how that works. Maybe this is how many I've already used? 15, 30, 65, no, 85. 85 have been already used. Hmm. I don't know. Isabella's still doing some hauling from a million miles away. Be nice to get everyone some proper armor as well. Desperately thirsty? Thirsty? <gasps> Wait a minute. I didn't realize our settlers were dwarves. Hang on a sec. Apparently we desperately need brewing. My bad. This is what I get for like, being like, no, no, we'll be good and responsible. No, 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 no. Um, I want to have this stuff inside the inn. I could sort of blind place some stuff. I don't know. We'll probably just like tear some of these down and rebuild them afterwards. Okay. I didn't realize we had such a desperate need for booze. Are we growing things we can brew with? I mean, not really. Cabbage booze. You know, it's probably been... I mean, technically, you can kind of ferment any vegetable product, right? But it wouldn't be very appealing. Products. Wine needs red currant. Ale needs barley. Beer needs barley and herbs. Yeah, there's no edit available. Well, what I'll do is I'll throw all of them in the queue and say, until you have, and we'll set, like, a 10 for each one of these for now. Well, actually, I think I might at higher numbers. And then if we end up with anything we can do this with. So if we can pick some red currants, we can make some wine. There's some red currants over here. Let me grab the harvest. Although it's going to be dependent on this stuff being ready to be picked. It might be a seasonal thing as well. All right. It's not getting Oh no, it is getting flagged. Oh, I didn't realize I was so far out that it wasn't showing me the little baskets. Okay. It looked like it wasn't taking, but I guess it's taking. Riding, harvesting, things. Yeah, yeah. So all these are going to be here. We'll get the hay as well, but that's fine, I guess. Well, we might have a little too much hay. But it's the red current so that we can start making wine because our people are alcoholics. You know what's tough world? And there's that whole thing of, like, in some of these places, like, fermented alcohol, it kills a lot of, like, the bacteria and parasites through the act of doing it. So, like, beer is safer to drink than water. And a lot of t the alcohol here, where they were very weak beers, or what was called small beers, right? They're only about 1 or 2% alcohol, so they really didn't do much. Other than being safer to drink. Um, so, yeah, they're going to do a bunch of this. I might want to do some cancelings. You have to be quite a bit zoomed in here. Cancel some of this. Some of that. Some of these. Okay. There might still be a little bit more. Yeah, rotted because... I don't know, maybe I should cook more meals. Well, actually, right now they don't have all the meals. Um, Cooking, 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 cooking. Yeah, I mean, the problem is Isabella... Like, grow, we we want it, like, to grow and harvest and cut plants. Well, maybe the cut plants could be brought down, but I don't know even know about that. I guess it could just because, like, Guus is, is more comfortable doing it. The, the grow and harvest seems like we need that, but maybe you don't have to go around chopping down trees if there's some cooking to be done there, Isabella. But the harvest is still going to happen. Except, oh, how come I'm not getting a path for you? There it is. That's weird. There's up sometimes, but not others. Now you're harvesting those resources. A little bit of cooking theoretically started. A little bit of brewing theoretically started. Waiting for more resources. Oh, 
I like the, the shiny lights. It's wet here. Did they get debuffs from being out in the rain? Well, you're desperately thirsty. Rough wine. Well, we'll probably get better recipes later. But okay. Food reserves and stockpile out. Well, some of it just rotted. Yeah, we don't have a lot. Uh, wait. Clothing decomposed? Oh! They're some things do decay because of unroofed. We didn't see that before. All I saw is floor and temperature, but roof is a thing. Maybe it's happening because of the rain. Maybe it's a patch that came up. These things are all possible. Sent a couple of deer over here. All right, well, clearly it's time to get our sort of uh, building warehouse. I think what I'll do is, like, the bottom floor will be, like, um, the warehouse and some workshops. And then a top floor, maybe I'll put bedrooms in there. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Then the people don't have to sleep down on the bottom floor where, the, like, the rats are wandering. Which, actually, you would stockpile in, like, in the upstairs to keep it away from, like, bugs and rats and stuff like that. I'm actually wondering about the thread current bush. But, again, I can just plant my own. So it's probably fine. Oh wait, let's um let's figure this out. Let's put down some some walls first. And so I'm gonna do something as long as you can do in one stretch, but I want a I want a big house. I just realized that. Uh I think it's dot to cancel? No, dot is the allow. Cancel is L. Okay. How come I can't click? Drag. There we go. Maybe it's something to do with the camera angle that I had going on. Now, what do I want to do here? So, from this corner, we'll go out 10. And then I have to line it like that. And then, starting from that, see, no. Yeah. Starting from that would be 10, but it's not letting me do it. So, starting from here, we're going to go 9. And then, just because it's going to look cool, I'm going to do a little something like that. Like that. And that. And then, I'm going to get a door here. A door there. And I wonder if we can double door. Looks like. Oh, hold on. I want them the other way around. Uh, cancel. Cancel. It's a little hard to tell the door visual when you're putting it down, though. That's a window. Which, actually, I should plan in. Oh, there we go. Uh, rotate. Perfect. Perfect. There you go. Nice little double door feel. Um, and yeah, let's get some, some windows. Dun, dun, dun. And then, I don't know, I'll leave a four gap. A four gap. Maybe that'll be good enough. Windows, or structural vulnerabilities. There you go. And then I think there'll be some internal walls and stuff. But let's get this up first. Put down a staircase that leads upstairs, and then floor the upstairs, which theoretically will make this floor here count as being kind of roofed. Is sort of the hope here. Oh, fermenting. Okay, so you start the job, and then it takes a while. So yeah, we really should have started this sooner because our people are going to flip out. I mean, I don't think they die from thirst. I think they're just unhappy from thirst. So there's possibility for some some mood problems, but that's about it. Oh, uh, wow, this game goes by fast. 35 minutes in. Folks, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Um, I, I just love the feel of our little village. It'll feel better when the stockpile stuff is moving inside, but I still like the little village square here. I'm going to try to figure out some little roofing things with pillars and things later on. Um, we really should probably use our wood for other things right now, so we'll focus on that. Oh, speaking of, I'm going to go and put a door right here aligned with this one. There we go. I like that. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.